I did not expect that I would be talking about this today. I had something else totally planned, but this is kind of urgent because I feel this is happening with everyone who's trying to get in tech today. Right? When you look at what's going on with AI, when you look at all the layoffs, and I thought we were done with all the layoffs, and then there were a bunch of layoffs as of, was it yesterday or a couple days ago? I think it was yesterday. And, and it sucks. <laughs> but I need to talk about this. Last week, I was selling a lot of things. I still am on Facebook Marketplace because I just bought so many things. And I sold a chair last week. One of my chairs is a $1,500 chair that I sold for like 650 bucks. So this person drove from another state to come and pick it up. And when they got here... They said, Chris, believe it or not, I was actually one of your subscribers before. I watched one of your videos. I tried to get in tech and I stopped, right? This person ended up working for Amazon. And when I see Amazon, like the warehouse, and then now this person's a, a part time DJ I don't, and their substitute teacher, not trying to be a teacher, right? And I asked them, I asked them, yo, like, what's going on? Like, why are you trying to be a teacher now? I think being a teacher is harder because personally you have to go get your bachelor's degree for years of schooling. And I think it takes longer, right? Then you have to be a substitute or whatever. Like just being a teacher is not easy. You have to go back to school and you name it. And this person ended up giving tech and tried to be a public school teacher who would probably make around 70 K a year in California, which isn't bad, but I made 70 K a year in California as a single person. It's not easy in California, right? That's not a lot of money. And I tried, you know, I, I tried convincing this person. I said, hey, hey I, I mean, I know it's difficult, but yo, it's so worth it. And, and I told him how much I was making. Like, after, like I, I'm living off only 55% of my income. The other 45% of my income that I make just goes into investments, into savings, into my house. That I want to pay off in cash and literally it's just five years, right? Trying to encourage him, like, yo, tech did this in my life. Like, your first job in tech will pay you way more than 70 k which is what a, a full-time teacher probably makes in California. No, it does make around that in California, depending on what the school district. And as I kept trying to convince this person, convince this person, they, they just ended the conversation and said, I, I got to go. And they left. It's going back to California. And, damn. I feel for the person. And, and I feel for them because, hey, yo, yo, I have nothing against teachers. I wanted to be a history teacher. I just have dyslexia and I suck in school, so I couldn't succeed in college. I barely succeeded in high school, right? But I, I generally wanted to be a teacher, teach history. I wanted to go to high school and teach people in high school and then eventually in college. That was my dream. I just sucked in school. <laughs> and so I got, no, I got nothing against teachers. But when I, when I think of tech, I don't just think of the amount of money you make at that moment. Right, your first job paying you 70, 80, 90 K a year. Three years down the line, you're making 100, 120, 20K, 130K a year, right? For some people, make 130K right off the bat. That's nice, but it's not just about that. What I love about working in tech is the opportunities that we have for us. Yeah, there are tech layoffs. Yeah, but guess what? You can get another job. And in this in, in this area in tech right now, right, with all these tech layoffs, it's harder. It, it sure is. But you can get a job. Now, if you really suck as a developer, of course, it'll be harder, right? And, 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 and right? I know it's not just that person. And, when, and again, when I say it's not just about how much you make right off the bat, it's the long term. Yes, it's the opportunities. But, yo, like, I'm going to be able to pay off in ho a house in, like, five years, six years, tops. No mortgage, no debt, and still making 200 300 k a year, six years down from now, five years from now possibly 300 to 400 K. What am I going to do with all that money when I'm hundred percent debt free, right? It's freeing at 41. I'm 35. I'll be 41 in six years. And so like, when I think of it, it's like, yo, like I know it's hard getting in tech right now, but really think down the line. Right. And, and, and I, I, I give this person, yo, like Bravo, right? Bravo for trying to do something as amazing as being a teacher. Yo, but if that's truly his passion, then sure, right? Go for it. If that's your passion, go for it. Nothing wrong from nothing. I have nothing against that. But then when I heard this person say they want to give up because all the layoffs, okay, this will not last forever. And then AI, AI will replace developers. Oh my gosh, AI is making our jobs easier. There are things I have to do for work now, right? I have to build these um, uh, these specialized projects where people could clone our GitHub and start building a project right off the bat, right? Using the stuff at work, data engineering, you name it. I have no idea how I'm going to build this stuff. 
But guess what will make my life easier in building it? It's not Stack Overflow no more. It's not just Google anymore. To be honest, it's, bare, it's rarely Google anymore or Stack Overflow. It's literally ChatGPT that I'm going to use to help me build this in an efficient way. I don't have to be a 10x developer no more to build an amazing app. I can be a 1x developer, right? You know what I mean? And to do to be able to do 10x things, of course, you know, you know what I mean. And I understand that people want to give up, but yo, tech is making a transition right now. Where yo, maybe, yeah, be a front end developer, get your foot in the door right now, or maybe be an AI developer who specializes in LLMs. Not, not like specifically a machine learning, deep learning, get your master's, PhD, doctorate degree in computer science so you can make 500K a year. Maybe specialize in LLMs. Maybe focus on building things around LLMs because that is what a lot of companies are looking for right now. Even if you don't specifically build things in regards to LLM, having LLMs, having knowledge about that can go a long way. So I, I see tech just making a change in the direction. And yeah, AI will replace developers here and there. True. But you know what's kind of funny is that people have been saying the same thing about Shopify. People, people I remember when I joined Tech 7 years ago, dudes, when I worked for Entrepreneur Media, entrepreneur.com, when I was a mid-level engineer, even when I was my junior developer uh, role, right, at this other small company I worked at. And I was making these YouTube videos seven years ago, and people were like, why are you being a front-end developer? Be a back-end developer, Chris. Be a software engineer, Chris. Shopify is replacing developers, right? Is that Squarespace is the other one? You name it. All these different online stores replacing front-end developers. Yo, I have a homie who works for Amazon right now who makes $220,000 a year. I think it's two hundred fifty, And he's, on, on, he's probably going to get promoted to senior. And I'd ask him what the income would be. And it'll be around three hundred twenty, three hundred fifty thousand dollars $350,000 a year. As a senior front-end software engineer for Amazon. Not just that. I'm looking at LinkedIn. I'm just curious. Looking at front-end developer roles. There are senior front-end developer roles paying one hundred eighty dollars to $220,000 a year. I don't see front-end developers getting replaced. No way. No way. No, no, no. And so, sometimes I feel like when people get discouraged like this, they try to look for an excuse. And, I, and I'm not saying this is everyone. But it feels like that because I know this would have been me too, right? That people are looking for an excuse to not push through and learn how to code. People are looking for an excuse to just give up and go back to the, their life and just live that life of being, I don't know, what working. And this was me, right? Uh, 7-Eleven, working at a restaurant, working as a radio for the rest of your life and just having roommates for the rest of your life. I'm not saying there's anything wrong against that. But for me, I, I can't do that again. And I feel like people are just looking for that excuse to go back. Yo, don't be that person, right? Don't be that person who just looks for that excuse because, yo, there will always be new things, new technologies that come up. And yeah, AI is game changing. It's going to change the world forever. It already is. It has changed my life significantly. I rarely ever use Google. Like whenever, I don't even ever use Google for anything. I use Google Maps more than I use Google now because I use ChatGPT or Bart.google.com, right? I use Bart. And I feel like people are just looking for an excuse to give up and all this stuff. And, yo, I just want to let y'all know that don't let that be you. I know it's difficult learning how to code. So many people are giving up right now. And, and you know, like, I know I'm very fortunate. Seriously. To be in the position I am today does take luck for sure. Like, I, I, I got my first job as a junior front-end developer after learning code for just three months and not even knowing javascript yet right paying 45k a year and to be frank i was thinking it would take me one or two years to get a job but if it took me more than two years i probably would have thought i'm just not smart enough i'm stupid maybe it's not for meant, meant for me and i'll try to go do nursing again just like everyone else in my family but i'm glad that i'm thankful i got the job in three months because now I can attest and speak to people like you who are watching right now and everyone else. That, yo, it, it is difficult. It is. But, dude, it's so freaking worth it. Right? Like, I, I, my lifestyle isn't like what it used to be. Like, I've lowered my lifestyle significantly. 
right? When I started working, when I started making like high six, well, when I see high six figures, like 180K per year, I spent all the money, every single paycheck. It was so stupid, right? So dumb, right? And now I only spend like one check, right? Every, after every two checks, I spend like one check every month. And like the fact that I have all this money like sitting in the bank. Yeah, there's layoffs. If I get laid off, I'm chilling, right? Um, someone in my family gets super sick, give them the money. I got it, right? Um, emergency happens and something comes up, flat tire, you name it. All of those worries I had before tech aren't worries anymore. They're just inconveniences. It's not a problem no more. It's just an inconvenience now. And what I'm trying to say, right, I know, uh, is that, yo, it's difficult. And I know that you want to give up. I know a lot of people want to quit right now. But I urge you to push forward. Keep building. Keep learning. I know it's not easy. But, yo, it's so worth it. You know what, though? For all those people who are really hungry, who's not going to give up, for everyone else who wants to quit, go for it. Now, if you're listening and you're the one watching this video and trying to push through, be thankful a lot of people are giving up. That means there's even more opportunities for you. Because, yo, if you keep going two, three years down the line, your life changed literally forever.